Hey beautiful people, welcome back to a zero star slime shop review. If you've never seen my channel before, basically that means these shops have no reviews on Etsy. My slime shop is also fully stocked right now and I have a new fall slime collection out and we have some new My Slime Shack bracelets. So if you wanna snatch some slimes, they're all $10. You could click the link down below for My Slime Shop. But I'm also having a giveaway for a $100 gift card to My Slime Shop for the month of September. And all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and my vlog channel and that's it you'll be entered so let's get started with this first slime shop which is DIY slime by Lexi so this came packaged really nicely inside there's a bunch of extras and some candy and some foam beads and then the slimes were packaged really nicely so this first one was a DIY pizza slime which I thought was super cool so I will say these containers were like really hard to get the slime out of for some reason I feel like unless it's a hard plastic container it's really difficult and you'll see that in a lot of these slimes in this video so I think it's mostly because these are a little bit cheaper containers um, but that's okay I try to get out as many as possible and let's assemble our pizza pie so it came with a brown clay slime and then the white foam beads represent like the cheese and some sprinkles on top so this one is unscented and it was a really nice texture when it all combined together I really enjoyed it and I just love DIY slimes I think they're so much fun and as always I also want to mention that if you're interested in checking out any of these slimes all these slime shops in this video will be listed down below for you guys to check out. So this last slime from their shop is called OG Butter Donut and it came with a little DIY donut clay as well which I'll be mixing into. The base of this texture though was like very fluffy, very thin. It's not personally my favorite texture but if you like that kind of like airy slime feeling then this one will be for you. The clay did help that a little bit but still it was a lot on the lighter side. I'm not sure if it has like a ton of foaming hand soap or a ton of like shaving foam but it definitely has that kind of feel to it personally I just prefer a little bit more like dense slimes um, but yeah this one again was unscented and when the clay mixed in it did like thicken it up a bit which was nice as well and it was like very like airy and very like poppy Before we go into the next shop, I wanted to let you guys know I'm now offering channel memberships. So you could click the join button by my username or you could click the link that I'll leave in a pinned comment, but you could get things like discounted slime, free giveaways, and all kinds of fun live streams and chatting with me, get your slime questions answered and all kinds of fun stuff. I'll link that down below for you guys, but let's hop into this next slime shop, which is KRS Tropical Slime Shops. So they sent over a bunch of candy, which thank you so much. I'm like a for chocolates they're my weakness um, but yeah the slimes all looked absolutely beautiful this first one was stunning and called strawberry glaze and look how beautiful I love the little confetti that it came with to add on top and this was a DIY clay slime so the actual base of this slime did need a little bit of activating but it was so beautiful I love how it was marbled and everything was just so nice that when I went in and activated it it was like the perfect texture and just so beautiful also all the slimes from this shop are unscented I feel like that's kind of a trend with zero star slime shops they usually are just working up their supplies so they usually don't come scented some of them in this video are but this slime shop and the first one were not scented
This next slime is called Beach Blues, and this one, again, is so beautiful, and it came with some blue glitter. This was another DIY clay slime that I absolutely loved. This one had a much denser, thicker texture that it formed more like a butter slime when it mixed, whereas the previous one was a bit more like a clay slime, which basically just means that it has less clay in it, basically, than a butter slime. But again, these containers, were just like the first shop, were really hard to get the slime out of, so I tried my best to get as much as possible possible and I absolutely loved the texture of this one it was so fun but what I did realize is something maybe there was a lot of blue food coloring or the clay or something it stained my hands like blue so if you notice that throughout the video that's why my hands didn't randomly just turn blue but yeah the texture on this one was great it was super spreadable and really soft And then the last slime from them is called Candy Corn Cloud. And all of these slimes, I forgot to mention, were six ounces. This one came with two cute charms. And then this was really nice. It was layered like a candy corn. And this cloud slime was really nice. I loved mixing it together. It was super, super, super fluffy and had a really nice drizzle to it. It definitely was like more of a textured cloud slime where you could feel a bit of the grittiness from the snow. But I think it had a really great drizzle, kind of like a fast drizzle drizzle. Um, there's like so many different ways to describe the drizzle of cloud slime, but this one was definitely a little fast, um, very fluffy, and I just think it was a really, really nice cloud slime. There was no fallout or anything. The next slime shop I have to show you guys is from Twix Slimes. So in this package, I got three slimes and again, some goodies with the extras, which I thought was super sweet. So let's get on to this first one called Purple Rain. And this one was beautiful. I love the purple glitter on top and it was scented like vanilla. I absolutely loved the scent on this one. And this was an incredible cloud slime. So as you can see, compared to the last one this one is also fluffy but this one has a slower drizzle so it's really just preference but this one was really nice as well very dense very thick but still like stretchy and a great drizzle so again no fallout with this one either it was really a nice cloud slime This next slime is called Senorita, and this one is like a metallic red colored slime with some roses. And this was supposed to be like a super thick clear slime, but it definitely needed to be activated like quite a bit. I had to go in and kind of add activator like three different times. As you could see, I kind of made a mess like everywhere, which is kind of my least favorite thing about clear slimes because I really like them to be very thick and holdable. Otherwise they get very, very messy as you saw just a little glimpse of. Um, but this one was scented like rose champagne. And once I activated it, it was a really nice thick texture. This last slime was my favorite from them. This one's called Oh Fudge. And I mean, like the cloud slime was amazing, but personally like cloud slimes are cool, but they're definitely not my favorite just because like, I think other slimes are more satisfying to play with. And you guys know I love thick and holdable slimes. So this one like did the trick for me. This one was amazing, so thick, so creamy. It was scented like hot cocoa and it's just literally like my ideal slime. Like I love slimes that are this nice thick texture. So I really enjoyed this one a lot, but I think all their slimes were really great. And I loved that they were all packaged really nice and professional. And also they were scented really nicely as well.
This last slime shop is from Live Love Slime and I would definitely say this is like far surpasses a zero star quality slime shop. It's definitely on par with some higher rated slime shops. They sent some great extras including a My Slime Shack bracelet which I thought was so sweet. But everything from their labels to their container and they even have little designs on like the names of the slime on the bottom of the packaging. So I thought all the little details were really great. This first one was called Waffles for the win and this one is absolutely amazing it only costs $13.50 and comes with so many great pieces like look at this DIY like clay waffle it was like sculpted so nicely and so perfect it came with some butter some little sprinkles to add on top and some syrup it literally just came with so much stuff so I thought that was really great it had a nice sweet scent to it and I absolutely just love this. It was so much fun to assemble like if you're into creating cool Instagram videos of slime like this one is perfect. It's literally just so aesthetic and so beautiful. I love DIY clay slimes especially ones that are like so intricate like this one. So I think this one was beautiful and I loved how thick it was. All the slimes in this were very very thick so it wasn't like super runny and everything kind of held its shape which is really important because otherwise it just kind of melts before you can assemble it so when I mixed it all together it was a very very dense thick texture but I think it was the perfect texture for this that way I could assemble it so over time the mixed result will melt a little bit and become a little bit less activated but I think like to assemble it it was perfect and I just loved this one so much it was definitely my favorite This next slime is called Monster Mash and it's a clear slime. It did seem to deflate a little bit in the packaging, nothing too crazy, but it was scented really nicely, very light, very like candy and pumpkin and it was like a beautiful orange metallic color. So perfect for Halloween and fall time. This is part of their new fall slash Halloween slimes obviously, but yeah, I think this one was really nice, really nice thick holdable texture. This last slime that I have for you guys today is called Sweet Sea and this one is so beautiful like I can't say enough like how pretty this slime is and the scent is on point. It's so hard to describe because it's like a fresh ocean scent but it's just so nice, so light and just refreshing like I loved it so much. It was definitely like my favorite scent from all the slimes in this video and it just had a really nice texture to it. Very thick, holdable, the clear slime didn't get everywhere and make a mess which I really appreciate. So I just thought this slime was so beautiful with all the different glitter in it and just so amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite if you want more like perks and stuff like that you could check out my channel membership down below and I will talk to you guys very soon bye